Hi, I'm Veronica and today we're going to talk about a very common question that PDF users often have. How to remove the background from a PDF file without affecting the rest of the content? There are many ways to do this, so in this video we will walk through how to do this on Windows and macOS using PDF Element and we will also look at an online solution that doesn't require you to install any additional software. Plus, at the end of the video, I will also show you how you can add a background to a PDF file on Windows and Mac OS. As long as you have the right tools, it's very easy to do. How to remove the background from a PDF using PDF Element for Windows. First things first, you will need to download and install PDF Element. Search for pdf.wondershare.com or use the link in the description below to head over to our official Wondershare PDF Element website. And download the Windows version by clicking on the free download button. Once your executable file has been downloaded, double click on it to install it as you would do for any other Windows application. PDF Element is a comprehensive PDF editor that can easily remove backgrounds, change colors, and help you make any adjustments to your PDF files and much more. Once the software has been installed, launch the PDF Element application and import your PDF file using the Import Files icon on the home page. The first step to remove the background color is to click the Edit tab at the top and then on the Background option in the ribbon toolbar right below it. From the options you see after clicking that button, select Edit Background to pull up the background template window. Hover over the background template you want to remove and you will see two buttons that come up. The one on the left opens a window where you can make changes to your background template and the one on the right allows you to delete the background template. So click the cross button, then click OK and then select Apply. Using this method, you can remove any background element that you don't need. To remove unwanted images from the background, go into the Edit tab where you'll be able to select the images in your PDF by right-clicking on them and choosing Delete from the contextual menu. You can also delete them by pressing the Backspace or Delete key on your keyboard whilst having the image selected. Now, to change the color of the text, make sure that you are still in the Edit tab Select the text you want to change the color of by dragging your mouse cursor across it. A small toolbar will appear next to your selected text where you can make the adjustments. To change the color, select the square at the end and choose your desired color. Alternatively, you can also open the panel on the right by clicking on the little arrow to expand it. In this panel, you will have even more options for adjusting your text such as being able to change the alignment and line spacing. Finally, save your file by clicking on File and selecting Save As. This will open a new window in which you can select the location for your file to be saved in. You can also change the name of your file and choose the file type. Then hit Save to export it from PDF Element. Now, how do we do this using PDF Element for Mac OS? Well, Mac users get ready. How to remove the background from a PDF using PDF Element for Mac OS. Well, the first step is to download PDF Element for Mac OS via the link in the description below. Or you can visit our official website pdf.wondershare.com to download it directly from there. Once the DMG file has finished downloading, double click it to launch the installer. And when the installation is complete, launch the PDF Element software. Now we're going to look at how to remove the background and unwanted images and change the color of the text as we did for our Windows walkthrough. The layout of PDF Element for Mac is slightly different from the Windows version to provide users with a more native macOS experience, so follow these steps. First, import the file using the File Select Open command or Open Files icon on the home screen. Next, bring your mouse to the Tool icon in the toolbar and select Add or Edit Background. Now click on Remove Background to delete the existing background template. You can also choose additional backgrounds or colors to delete as well if they are present. To remove an image, click on the Image button in the toolbar Right-click the image and choose Delete from the contextual menu. 
or by pressing the backspace or delete key on your keyboard. Now changing the color of the text is equally easy. All you need to do is select the text button in the toolbar. From the image editing mode, you can also directly go into text editing using the drop down option. Once you're in the text editing mode, select the text to be changed and use the text attribute toolbar at the top to change the color. You will also have the option to make the text bold, increase the font size and so on. And here's a tip for the Mac users. As I've mentioned before, the Mac version differs from the Windows version in some ways. One of the differences is that it allows you to remove a background using the batch process. It's very useful if you have a mass of PDF files and no matter what background the PDF files have, whether it's an image or background color, they can be removed together all at once to save time. The process is super fast and convenient to perform. To perform the batch process, launch the software and select batch PDF icon or go to tool and select the batch process from there. Select batch remove and drag and drop your files onto the interface. Hit apply and select a folder location for your files to be saved in, then press save. Here are the files that have been processed and if we open this one, you'll see that the background has been removed. There are many more things you can do using PDF Element aside from removing backgrounds. PDF Element is free to try, so why not give it a go? Download it now via the link in the description below. How to remove the background from a PDF online. Finally, it's time for a bonus method in which to remove the background from a PDF, we will use a tool that you've probably been using all along. Google Drive. First of all, open Google Drive and upload your PDF to it. You can either do this by dragging your file onto the page or by clicking on the new icon and then selecting File Upload. After the file is uploaded to Google Drive, open it by right clicking and selecting Open with Google Docs. The file will be converted into the docs format and you will see that the background elements are removed automatically. Next, click on file, go to download as and select PDF as your output format to save your PDF to a local folder. Unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do to a PDF file in Chrome unless you have an add-on or extension, but it can still help you in a pinch since all you need is an active internet connection. Now, here's a little bonus for the PDF element users. We've looked at how you can remove a background, but what if you want to do the opposite? How to add a background to a PDF file using PDF element for Windows and Mac OS. Adding a background is quite simple. If you're using PDF element for Windows, follow these steps. Open your PDF in PDF element and click the edit tab, then select the background button in the toolbar and choose add background from the drop down menu. This will open up a pop-up window. Click on the plus icon to add a background and choose what type of background you want to add. Color, PDF or image. For this example, we will choose an image. Now click on the three dots to select the image file you want to use as the background from its folder location. On the right, you can make various adjustments such as lowering the opacity, rotating the image and selecting the page range you want to apply your background to. If your image doesn't quite fit the page, you can select the proportion of pages and scale the image up until it covers the whole page. Finally, click save to save the template and hit apply to apply the background to the pages you've selected. And here's a pro tip. If you take advantage of the page range feature, you can set each page of your PDF to have a different background. You can use a mixture of images, colors and PDFs for your backgrounds. Plus, you can create multiple templates if you can't decide on what looks best and look through them. All of your templates will be saved, so if you change your mind later on, you can always come back and switch quickly without having to set the background all over again. Now, if you're a PDF element for Mac user, follow these steps to add a background. As I mentioned earlier, PDF element for Mac has a different layout from the Windows version to make it more macOS friendly. The steps are pretty much the same though. Hover your mouse over the tool option in the toolbar and click on add or edit background. Click the add background option in the toolbar to see the side panel. There click the plus icon to open the template creation window and select one of the three options. Now click the three dots next to the image field and select the image file that you want to use as the background. 
you can alter its appearance and position and preview your changes on the right. When you're happy, click the Save button to save the template and back in the Add Background Side Panels, select the newly created template and hit Apply. If you need to change the page range, you can also do this from the extreme right side of the background toolbar. Awesome, so now that we've covered all the key elements of how to remove backgrounds from PDFs and even how to add another PDF as a background, let me quickly address some of the most common questions I get from our PDF element users around the world. You ask, we answer. Let's see what questions we have for today. First question, is it possible to remove the background of multiple changes of a PDF? When you remove a background template, it will be removed from all pages by default. But here's a valuable tip for you. When adding a background, there's an option to select the page range for a specific pages. The second question is, how can I remove the background image to make it transparent? PDF element allows you to control the transparency or opacity of a background image or color. For this, you can go into the edit background option and click the small edit button on the background template. On the next page, click the double arrows to go into the advanced settings and then reduce the opacity to zero to make it fully transparent or adjust as preferred. So this is pretty much the end of the video, so thank you for staying with me. If you have a specific scenario you would like to ask about, please use the comment section below and hopefully we'll make a brand new video just for you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more detailed videos on handling PDF workflows. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.